Hello, and welcome back to Gothic Murder. Last time we left off, we had to stop Irving from killing Irving, instead of the usual suspects. We also had to stop Noelle from killing Irving, too, but uh, she didn't really actually try. She sort of just sent him on the woods and tried to let him die. <clears throat> anyway, let's get back to where we left off. All right, let's go search the room. We already got a note. The note was, uh, I think, like, G5 plus 1 or something. Yeah, I actually got it right, right here, yeah. Let's go check the old, uh, cloth box. It probably is just gonna go to the bookshelf, but let's check the door. Okay, that's cute. G5 plus one, I... Since there's F there, that means if we plus one, the G5 will go up to F, right? Or would it be a minus one? Same letters. Wait, is is that book column sure I can't check F? Oh, there we go. For some reason it didn't let me go down to F. Because it's a letter before G. Do you really count down with the ABCs? I sort of thought you counted up, but whatever. No, oh, no, my sixpence coin. I just got this, and that's the only sort of pay I've been getting so far. Oh, uh, I didn't expect that. This looks very weird, like a... Like, we would sacrifice someone to, to the devil here. Do you, like, walk into the... Oh. Yikes, even at a young age, Irving, somebody tried to kill Irving. The man's unlucky.
Let's go uh, check the incense burner and whatnot. There's like etchings on the wall. Bloody marks? Dios mio. Oh. Inserted in the gap, I mean, come on. It's silly. Irving was attacked by his brother because he robbed him of everything, too. We better show this to Irving as soon as possible. Oh. Yeah, this this would happen from time to time in the old ages too. So the exorcism. That's very interesting. I like how the uh, game's not changed his name to Victor. This asks about the reason for his brother's anger. The whole difficulty of being the head of the family is quite a toll. Man, this is sort of a thing that happens that with uh, richer people, at least around this time. Yeah, that's right.
from the notes that I've been reading, well, from the reading that we've been doing from his father, I think it's his father, not... I would assume that, uh... He doesn't hate Irving. Remember that that uh, will was falsified by Irving's dead brother, so... Which is Irving, too, I guess. We're still gonna have to catch Irving's dead brother, though. So we, I wonder if uh, we could get like, I don't know, maybe Mahai can like summon an anti-seance and send him back to the demon realm. Oh, I didn't know Mr. Jack had, uh, white hair. I wouldn't say he looks like Mr. Irving. Mr. Irving doesn't have that chin, and... Mr. Irving isn't so buff. My policy, what? Let's ask why he's in the kitchen. Yeah, he does. Ah, <laughs> oh, Luisia, my favorite. Let's check actually a profile. There's Luisia. Yeah, look, uh... Uh, William has become such a background character that he's just... Like, like, bruh. I really wish I would've brought him back at some point, but they don't. I hate to spoil it, but they don't. So since the maids have the same room, does that mean that uh Jack sleeps with uh sleeps in the same room with the I mean what's his name? Jack sleeps in the same room with Maurice. Cause they're the only two male workers here. I I wasn't actually paying attention. Sweet dreams, yeah. Granted, with the amount, uh, your nosy face likes to. Oh, God. Oh, goodness, they're gonna burn the manor. We still get dressed, though, which is, you know, proper etiquette, I guess. But, you know, I think a fire would be a little bit more important than...
Are you sure? I would be like Mr. Irving. I think I got something a little more important than uh than this. Mr. Irving's Victor is alive. I mean, Irving too is alive. Oh goodness. Christ, uh, I think we might want to bring in Jack for questioning, <laughs> because Jack has a lot of has a lot of uh, things going wrong. Yeah, I would start off this by saying, guys, I think we might be burning as of right now. I like that. I would turn from villain to uh, now he's a hero. All right, so there's a fire room, and Mr. Jack is uh, being very is very very suspicious because he's the only suspicious uh, worker here. Maurice didn't do it, and Noel didn't do it. So that means we better check on Jack first. Right now. Right now, uh, Jack needs to be, uh, confined into a room until we find out he's innocent. Because right now, oh goodness. It is not doing well for him that he happens to have the same hair color and eye color as Irving. Is it, like, cooking oil, like, not flammable, I think? Uh... I really wish we you could go to another... Well, I guess we'll go to the attic. Maybe we can find somebody's room. Nope, let's go check the predecessor's room. I know that those three didn't do it, so... I guess I'll check the reception room. Oh, hey. Silk. Silk thread was missing. Golden color. Oh, no. Poor Noelle. That's so weird. She used to be such a strict boss, but now she, she doesn't care. She views us as equals now because of our special treatment for her Irving. I guess once you save somebody's life, they're grateful toward, towards you. I saw golden at lock or whatever. I gotta go check on that chick.
Oh yeah, Miss Lila. <laughs> Something happens before later, it would be too late. Yeah. Okay, so I guess she's got that handled, so let's just, uh... I don't think Mahi or William in William's room. I, I guess I could check. Alright, Mahi says no fire, so we got one last destination. The dining room has been locked. Everybody's accounted for, I guess, so... Yeah... I don't blame Luis, yeah. Yeah, we need that we need desperately to get the key because uh, we checked every single nook and cranny and uh, Wait, what? 